Hi, it's Megan. And I'm Melinda Shaggy. <laughs> but today I am out in the garden just planting last okay. minute things that have been Mom. hardening off and getting bigger okay. to then come out Mom. here in the garden. Where we're at in the garden is the big row that we just planted of carrots and corn. I am <laughs> I'm going to plant this giant rosemary right here too. <laughs> Are you being cute? I'm going to plant this big rosemary here at the end of this bed. So I had just stuck it in a container. The kids had actually, I think, got this for Valentine's Day or Easter. And I just planted it in here. Because it was free. So, as I'm out here this evening, I'm just pulling a little bit of weeds. For the most part, I've weeded my garden um, this week. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really, um, I've had a lot of allergy problems. And so, I almost didn't make this video because I just haven't felt very well. Um, this evening, I am going through and just looking for suckers on my tomato plant. The last several years, we've just done regular garden. Um, this is the first year that we've had raised beds. It's the first time I've ever experienced raised beds or dealt with raised beds. Um, with our regular garden, we would plant like, I don't know, six to ten tomato plants and I never, I never pruned them. I never did anything to them. I just let them grow, you know, the way God intended. And we live in Indiana, Zone 6A, and it gets hot here. It gets humid, and our plants would get real diseased very quickly. And we never really had a good harvest. Uh, I mean, I would say I had like 20 or 25 tomatoes out of 10 tomato plants. Like, I mean, it just never turned out very good. Um, and I just never really cared <laughs> um, because I was just bummed out with it after doing it for two years. Uh, but nobody really ever taught me how to grow tomatoes or necessarily how to grow anything. Um, I've just learned by watching other YouTube videos, by reading books. Um, I'm currently reading the book Carrots Love Tomatoes. It's a really good book. I would highly recommend it. I borrowed it from the library and I'm honestly probably going to buy my own copy so that I can highlight it and write in it because it's just a really good book and full of information. But so, tomatoes. I learned this this year that there is a difference in tomatoes. There is determinate tomatoes and indeterminate tomatoes. Determinate tomatoes means that your tomato plant has a, a determinate amount of fruit that it will produce. As for indeterminate, your tomato will produce as long, it is, as, long as it is possible to produce fruit. Pruning your tomato plant will help fight disease it will support growth and just help it grow. What? He say hi. So, with my tomato plants, you'll notice that, especially this one, that there are no branches near the ground at all. I have pruned them back so that the leaves don't touch the ground at all. I've pruned all of my tomato plants so that the bottom portion of the plants don't touch the ground. There's no leaves touching the ground. That way it has a better chance with disease and pests. So in learning about pruning tomatoes, I've learned about these. These are called suckers. You can find your suckers in the armpit of a tomato plant. 
So like here's an armpit, here's an armpit. Your suckers will end up becoming branches. And if you just let all your suckers go, then you just, I mean, if a sucker grew in every single armpit, you would have a full, full tomato plant. And it wouldn't, you know, there wouldn't be any airflow. It would just be a, just a big tomato plant. So what I've learned, what I've learned is you can come in here and pinch them off. You just pinch them off real easy. If they're bigger, you can get um, a pair of scissors, but you just pinch them off. And what you can do, what you're, you can do is if your suckers are a little bit bigger or about this size, you can put them in some water and they will root, they'll grow roots and then you can grow a whole new tomato plant. Isn't that neat? But whenever you, if you were to do that, you want to make sure that your leaves are healthy, they're not disease ridden, they're not nasty. Um, I plan on trying this method like halfway through the season when my tomato plants have done pretty much all that they could do and you know they're getting close to possibly having blight. Uh, trying to plant some more new tomato plants to get another round of tomato plants but we'll see that's kind of like a theory that I'm gonna try this year but so I got I got two suckers off this tomato plant this evening if we come around to the back side there's another one right here that I'm gonna pinch off as well and then there's one let me see there's one where to go starting to form right here that I'm gonna just pinch off For the most part, I've come through and done all of these. I did it the other day. Quick, I wanted to point out that these are two suckers that I pulled off one of my tomato plants outside and I just stuck them in some water. And I'm just, I don't know if you can see the little roots starting to grow. For the most part, I've come through and already done this to my tomato plants earlier this week. I tried to leave one as an example to do this video. So whenever you prune your tomato plants, you want to leave the top of it alone. Uh, it's called topping, and so if you like chop the top of your tomato plant off, it'll stop growing. Um, so the benefit of that would be is, you know, say your tomato plant gets as tall as you want it to get, you know, five feet, six feet, depending on what support system you have for it you can chop the top off of it and your tomato plant won't grow anymore and then its main focus will be on producing fruit and developing the fruit for the rest of the season so just wanted to leave that little tidbit uh that is one reason why i was terrified for the tomato plants that my rogue chicken got a hold of and i mean chewed it down to like I mean it was just the one stock had no leaves nothing and I thought they were goners and I was honestly worried that they wouldn't grow any because their tops got chopped off but they're doing pretty good I will uh, give an update on those in the garden tour video that I'll po post later this week so I just wanted to share that little tidbit about tomatoes that I have learned this gardening season so I will add I'm sitting here editing this video and I can smell the tomato on my hands and if you can look closely there's like tomato residue on my fingers some of it's dirt but I can smell I can smell what the tomato is um, but just as a tidbit if you are to go through and prune your tomatoes with your fingers uh, they leave that residue and it's kind of hard to get off but if you use vinegar or apple cider vinegar or something acidic -y, it will uh, take that right off your fingers so just a little additive so thank you for joining me this evening in my garden take care and God bless